It's a little bit interesting because this box represents the parameter space that you have to test. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people will make the mistake where they'll say, I've built a system like this before. Right. And so I know what it should be for everything. Yeah. But yeah. the problem is, is that when you develop code rules, is you have to cover the full parameter range, right. every range of uh, the type of system that you're evaluating. B315 yeah. is different than B319, is different than B313. Yeah. It's different yeah. than yeah. B311 for a reason. Yeah. So you have to make sure you cover all of the different aspects. High temperature, cryogenic, yeah. large D over T, small D over T, yeah. Uh, yeah. different types of supporting systems, cold. Yeah. I mean. The, uh, all of these things have to be included. Plus, the, the most difficult thing in the original development of B31J was all of the, the sizes, because all of the sizes hadn't been covered. Most of Markle's tests were done on four inch size on size fittings. Yeah, well, four inch size on size fittings doesn't cut, it's D over T of around, of around 20. Yeah. You know, the largest D over T is 100. Yeah. So, all of, whenever you consider the code rules or looking at the tests or thinking that you've got something that I know how to do this, as yeah. soon as you move into a different area in the parameter range, that's right. when you have to stop and say, okay, has the code covered this for me appropriately? Yeah. Yeah. And the reason I say that is because the world is moving in the direction of hydrogen. Yeah. And hydrogen has a whole different set of, or a whole different parameter space, let's say. Yeah. So you have, just because you have tons of experience in refinery work or power work, hydrogen is different.